all right collective welcome to get you see your youtube channel um i want to thank all my old supporters i appreciate you and all my new subscribers i appreciate you um for people who don't know this i could be picking up something past present or future and sometimes when we're doing tarot card readers readings we forget that people are new and they don't even understand how this goes a collective is just a collective um body of people if something resonates that's good sometimes we do a pick a power where you are drawn to a certain number or all three numbers and call the collective only take about 10 percent if this shit don't um um you know resonates then just let that shit go right now um i don't give a f about you and I don't give a F about you. It is on my spirit. It is on my spirit. Tough. I feel like this is a love reading. I want it to be a love reading. I'm, I'm, I'm designing it and the energy is a love reading. But it could possibly be, be anybody. So you have to make that connection. Um, so let's get started. Let's do you first, maybe. And then them. And we'll see whatever I pick up, okay? Oh, it's a no, um, it's a no make a ring. I'll be 57, um, May 14th. I'm, I'm super excited. Somebody left me a comment and said something about why would you something read the comment about not wearing um, makeup? Maybe it's the way I said it because I always say nobody checking for me. Um, please don't read too much <laughs> into a comment. I raised three winners. I don't, have, I don't suffer from low self esteem. I might suffer from some guilt, and I have very, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive and have to pull myself back because people really, really disappoint me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm sensitive. You can accuse me of being a sensitive, but low self-esteem, I'm not. I don't want to sit here and get uh, Terry. That, 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 that is, you're reaching. You're reaching. You're reaching. I'm very, very strong. I have to pull my energy back a lot of times, right? So the self-esteem shit is not, is not the issue. It's I'm very, very sensitive. And when I'm sensitive, I hit back and I hit back hard and I have to regroup, right? Okay, we all get disappointed and don't read into that. <laughs> don't read into that, just enjoy the reading, okay? So I don't give a F about you and you don't give a F about me. And so people looking in, we're gonna do you first, but you are welcome to have this side, whatever side you're drawn to, right? And I'll see what the um, spiritual, uh, how do you call them, spiritual guides? The world, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, Allah, everybody got different sources, ancients, the ancestors, the Hindu gods. Um, want to say, why do you say you don't give an F about this man or this woman? This is your side, right? And then this would be their side, but you can choose the side you want. Why you don't give an F about this man or this woman? Ooh, solitude, regroup, and ready for bed. Oh, why do I feel like, I don't know what this person did to you, but I feel like whatever this man or woman did to you, you need to process and you got to really figure out before you let this man or woman back in your life. Um, it it could have been pretty, it could have been pretty um, traumatic for the simple fact, um, maybe they slandered your name, maybe they gossip about you, maybe they took you for granted, maybe they took your money, maybe they used your body, maybe they, they switched your words around, um, you know, something, um, maybe you checked them, maybe you found out something, you know, some kind of secret or something was revealed or what's in the dark will come to light. Something happened, um, on, for the people on this side to put you in a hermit mode. Now, hermit mode is that long energy where, nah, nah, I ain't getting over this right now, right? Now, you could forgive them because we grown and you gotta be cordial. You could see them out. You could see them at work. You could see them in the gym. You could see them in an the event. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all have friends together. Maybe y'all share children together or, you know, stepchildren or whatever, some kind of relationship, some kind of affiliation in church, mom, something like that. You know what I mean? Or you just gonna know that you're gonna have to see this person and, you know, face the music. But right now, I don't give a F about you because I need to sit and meditate. I need to process this. I need to absorb this shit. need to uh, marinate because I need my solitude to regroup because I don't know if I got to go back into battle with you. Meaning like, are we going to have some words? Are you going to be a disappointment to me um, as a man or woman? If, I, if, if Even if we, you know, um, you know, maybe start a relationship again, never had a relationship, get to know each other, invest in our marriage, our relationship. I don't know. So I feel like I don't give an F about you because this is what, what I'm channeling, right? Because you got this zombie energy. You know what I'm saying? This person could be very antagonistic. She or he could be very, very immature. They could have a lot of people, um, you know, getting on their bandwagon and their squat, squat parading them, you know, and I got to pull myself back. You know, little kid energy, immature energy, and high school energy is not the level that I'm on, right? I, I, I can't. I, I just can't. 
Um, so, you know, maybe you're feeling like that. And then in the solitude, then you can, you know, reflect, right? And you can take some, you can breathe and you can look at both sides and say, you know, maybe he or she didn't mean it this way. Maybe they have some dysfunction. Maybe they need to grow up. Maybe they used to be getting their ego massage. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and so I have to figure out, and maybe it wasn't what I thought it was and maybe it was. And maybe they're human and maybe they're very, very forgiving. But right now, I don't give a F about you. I'm worried about me. Look at her. She's like, I don't give a F about you. I'm worried about me. I'm reading my book. I'm reading. I'm chilling. I got Prime on or Disney or, or um, Netflix. I'm eating my chocolate or, you know, whatever. And I don't give a F about you. Yeah. And I could be wrong. Y'all gonna let me know. This person wants to reach out. I see that. And I see a clock. So this man or woman know they only got a certain amount of time. For you ex they um for you ex they asses out. They know they got a certain amount of time and this, this shit is a wrap. Because you see the zombie trying to hit that clock. Now they could have been trying to call you and talk to you and everything, but they know you in that I don't give a F um um energy. Alright, let's see what well, let's see what they want to say. Why they don't give a F about you. And she was chilling. <laughs> Lines up with the um um I don't give a F about you, huh? And I could be wrong. You gonna let me know? Y'all not gonna let me know that. Why they don't give an F about you? Collect this. It would depend on what side you want. And stay on your side. Why you don't give an F about this man or this woman? Help me to get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Well, I told you they want to call you. Eight to ones get in contact. Seven of cups. Because they feel like they got choices. They feel like I got choices. People massage my ego. They do daydream a lot. They have considered about what you said. They have a lot of decisions. The decisions, they, the men and women that they have to choose from us. I'm, drawing, I'm making this a love reading because that's what the energy I get from the people that I meet. A lot of people are in my private um, emails or when I do my private readings, I'm not doing any today. Now, I do do a couple, but they, they're like people I've been doing readings to, right? So they understand my temperament and my energy and I have to... I have to pull back. Hi, Shar Shar. I got to regroup, right? I ain't trying to give you no projective energy. I'm trying to give you energy that is fair, right? And not ego-based, right? But this person feels like they have a lot of choices. So F you. Whether their choices is good or bad, they don't care. You see, she's going, ah, she's crazy. Oh, she's crazy. Her whole facial aspect. Well, that's how they feel. That's how they feel about you. Some of them could have called you crazy. Yeah, you could be driving this man or woman crazy. Look at flies go to shit every time they meet somebody or they stay with somebody or they're talking to other people. That shit, that conversation in real quick, meaning it might be good, but it fizzled out real quick because they're not you. And that's why the two eight of wands came out. It's communication, but they still hold it on to ah. F her, F him, right? Because it's F you, right? Um, I got so many choices now. Whether they're romantic illusions, you know, whether the sex is good or the sex is bad, they thought they got a lot of decisions, so they don't have to sit there and worry about you, right? Y'all like my tax? Y'all know how I get. Any on this side? No, okay. <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. Y'all know I'm flighty. This person's third eye is opening. You drive this man or woman crazy. I mean, just straight insanity. Somebody eyes red. She or he could have been crying. Face is coming apart. I think they saved face, right? You know, I don't care about F him. F her. I don't care about that. But the, her face is coming apart. So it's a lie. It's definitely a lie that they tell themselves or they tell people. And you know, you start telling that lie long enough. Y'all know the saying? You start believing it. All in unison. In unison. You start believing it. Yeah, and that's that's what this is, right? They could be trying to travel. They could be on the, on the move. They could be staying busy. They could meet new friends, get new adventures, contracts, um, new jobs, careers, you know, maybe dating and just doing different things. Things, but at the end of the day, you see that zombie is chasing this man or woman that you care about. You have to use the thing. They still want to call you. They still want to text you. They want. It was so calm, right? It was calm in the storm. They in the storms now. They in the storms now. Maybe people talking about you, you know, because it says good news. Um, come and take lead. They don't want to hear that, um, but they do want to talk to you. But right now, it's F you. I got so many decisions. I got too many men, women, or I got choices, right? Because, you know, and this could be your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your partner, um, your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, crush, online, dating, in the DM, um, dating. Maybe you met him, maybe you didn't fall start. Side piece, and Mr. and Mrs. Notorious side piece. I call them slide pieces on accident on Twitter. I'm always saying some fuck little shit. But you know, or somebody just slid in your DM. You know what I mean? What else is there? Uh, you know, open relationships. How we define friends with benefits. Situation shits. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, or or what is that? Common law from the East Coast, like me. Common law marriage, right? It could be anybody. Why do they feel like? I mean, your turn. You don't give a f about this person. Why do you don't give a f about this person? Because this person did you wrong, or you feel like you feel like it's warranted. Anything else you want to say? F them too. Why you want to say F them? We on y'all side, collect me. Oh, shoot. Because this person played you and dangled you. This person could be very materialistic. <sighs> yeah. This is Six of Swords. This person caused a lot of chaos. And, and you know, you just felt you felt some kind of way to talk about chopping waters. You feel like this person trying to pull you down, drag your name down, try to slander your name, try to use you, try to take you for granted. A lot of chaos, confusion, ups and downs, flip-floppy energy. You know what I'm saying? You had to get, you had to, you had to, you know, get, you had to get on the defensive with this woman. You didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that. You was trying to be cool calm collected but now you want to play games so it's like f you like she like you know i feel like you had to back this man or woman up right or this man or woman try to put some fear in you because she got this right you know what i'm saying um youtube channel you see what she got in her hand right and they try to put some fear in you or make you feel like you're chasing them or you want him or you want her or you can be disrespected and taken for granted and you ain't you don't got feelings and you can't feel and i feel like even though he looked nervous but really look at his face he looked like i'm about to flip this boat over we both about to flip in the water and i hope you can swim i hope you can swim because i'm about to flip it he's sitting there going I'm pretending, I'm pretending, but at any minute I can flip this boat over. Go ahead, go ahead. He's about to flip this boat over. And this person could have been very materialistic. They could have used you, or they could be caring about what somebody say. And you're like, F you, I ain't got time for that. This person could have been very, very hard to please. They could expect more. They could pretend like they're hard on the outside, and they could be marshmallows on the inside. I'm starting to see some people are hard on the outside and um, hard on the inside. They, ha they, have, they have some severe dysfunction. You want to move away from that. Yeah, you want to go you know maybe you're working on your business something like that or you know your job or something like that but then some of them they gave you the ring they want to take it back or they you know they bravado or they act like got money and they ain't really got you know money like that or they wanted a new beginning and then they 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 didn't do the you take only what resonates they didn't there was faulty it was a faulty start and it really wasn't serious so you're like f you and this one is the six of hazard they wasn't giving you the same energy you was giving them. They was dangling you like you was me. Just dropping little breadcrumbs, expecting you to follow the breadcrumbs. Some of y'all did because you trusted this man or woman. Now you're like, F you. Forget that. This We need balance and harmony. This is supposed to be um, a 50-50. This ain't supposed to be um, you as a man or a woman trying to look out for your own interests, right? You know what I'm saying? They could have been trying to buy your friendship, buy your love, buy your sex, buy your allegiance. They could have done that too, right? You know what I mean? Um, or they could have expected you to buy them. All that I said. All that I said. Yeah. And so you like, if the king of cups, this person could have loved you, but then they're drowning. Like they didn't know how to show it, right? Didn't know how to show it emotionally. Could have been emotionally a manipulative type of man or woman. So you're like, Effie, this is a sign like, Effie, I don't need that shit in my life. I feel like you pulled a trump card. You started revealing shit and stuff. And you're like, I don't need that shit, right? I feel like you wanted a commitment with this person or you could be in a commit, committed relationship with this person. Truth, advice, education, pay attention to the messages. Could be your dreams or people telling you a red flags. Um, use the information to make choices. So if somebody says something to you, did something to you, or their actions spoke louder than words, you started processing this. Go, well, that's you. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I don't got to take that you and then <laughs> stop playing with y'all. F you, Nicole. <laughs> F you, Nicole. <laughs> stop playing with y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's how that shit went down. <laughs> this is 18 plus adult material language entertainment purposes only. Relax. <laughs> Oh my God, nine of wands. Yeah, I thought like you had to have the willpower to pull yourself away from this man or woman. I do feel like you really cared about him, but they made you weary at times. Yeah, some of y'all could have been very, you know, despondent, had some anxiety. You could have been, you know, crying and stuff. This person could have put you in competition. This person had, you have a lot of highs and lows with this person. Um, you felt like you would never really complete anything and you couldn't really get far with this person because they always had some kind of roadblock, some kind of 
tough terrain, you know, like you track, like you going up in Mount Everest and shit. I feel like you went through Mount Everest and you survived and that shit was cold and that climb was hard and this person could you climbing and climbing and climbing hills and you just couldn't read the person. So that's why you say, F you. I don't need it. If love got to be this hard or commitment got to be this hard or us trying to meet each other or you can, my right foot's burning, you can't recognize my worth, then F you. Why the phone keep falling? You like, F you. F you. And so that's that's how it is. And this King of Cups, this man or woman could have been very diplomatic, um, matter of fact, so about the love or the encouragement or support that you gave them. Empathy act from the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complicated. I feel like this person is a complicated and emotional person. You could be talking about a, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, or you could be one. This person, yeah. This person could be really, really be in, the, in their head. I see a lot of water here. I see a lot of long distance relationships. Yeah, I see a lot of faulty starts. So you got tired, you know? I see a lot of outside people, outside influences. This man won't run their mouth like a bee. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> I feel like you had to tag back. You didn't want to. You probably like, look, I'm trying to compose myself. But look, this person will make you want to go there. I feel like it. I feel like this person make you want to go there. And that's, and that's why at the end of the day, you had to preserve your insanity. You had to get back balanced, get back centered, back grounded. So you like, F you. F you. I can say fuck you, right? F you, right? I don't want to say it like that, right? You know what I mean? But F you, 18 plus adult material in the language. And that's why you like F you. And if this person does love you, you felt like the love was, it was drowning because this person was so into their head being diplomatic and they should have been more in that king of chalice and the king of cups in their heart. So you like F them, right? Let's see. I hope a whole bunch of cards don't come out with them. Why they feel like F you? Um, why they feel like F you? Um, Collectives. Hi, collectives. Why they feel like F you? Why do I feel like this shit? It's gonna be back and forth. Why do you feel like F them? They feel like some of y'all materialistic. They feel like some of y'all are very tough on the outside, but you're marginal in, inside. You could be very confident, practical, and expect more. Maybe they feel like you expected more from this woman and this man, and they weren't who you thought they were. Bingo! Light bulb went off. You know what I'm saying? So they go, F you. I never said I was this. Or here she go, I never said I was that. Or I never was into you like that. We was just friends. You was just a crush. You get what I'm saying? Or you, my right foot is burned. Or you were just a um, long distance. Or this is my husband and wife. I just can't ex-husband wife or something like that. I just hit it and quit it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sorry. That's what I'm challenging. So this person could feel like that. They could feel like, you know what I mean? Maybe you sitting up in there, Gucci fine as men and women, feeling very, very confident. And you giving up your legs and your arms and putting all your energy into this man or woman. And you expecting more. And they wasn't expecting the same thing. So they like F you. Like they all in their confidence. Like, no, no. Nah, nah, I wasn't looking at her like that. I wasn't looking at him like that. F them, right? They could feel like a lot of you guys are materialistic and they can't keep up or you expect more. Um, they feel like you're very, very confident, but then she's crying and her tears are, um, you know, maybe they feel like you're overly sensitive type men and women, very, very emotional. Um, and so maybe when they, if they try to, maybe if they slept with you or they led you on, like, I feel like these are lead, lead on type um, men and women, their energy is flip floppy and I'm on their side right now. Right. But they can also throw it, throw it, throw it in your face. Like friends with benefits, but we doing relationship shit. I didn't say that. I said friends with benefits. You said that that was the agreement situation shit. You know what I'm saying? And then one man or one woman want more and they can always say, you know what I mean? They expected more, but it wasn't supposed to be like that. Right. You know what I mean? Or husband and wife say you are together. You thinking, you know, your wife going to get this um, relationship back motivated or your husband going to get it back motivated. And they go, come on now. You know, we got a lot of issues. You know, we got a lot of problems. You know, there's a lot of stuff that people don't see. You know, you expecting a lot from this relationship, but it really isn't like that. Boyfriend or girlfriend or all along online in, in the DM, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. You, come on. You ain't never met me. You ain't never seen me. You knew I had to have a man or have to have a woman. Or you was reading all that into that? In the, them texts and, you know, it don't, it don't have to be in a DM or something like that. But we never met. So this is the person, kind of person, where they say F you and, it's, and it cuts deep because they don't really give clear um, clear uh, um, communication, um, you know, or, you know, a real view. Uh, it is very broad, right? Very vague. Um, you know, what, how they're defining this relationship. And you feel your crush. You know what I mean? They start slandering your name or something like that. Instead of taking it as a compliment, they getting that ego stroke, that groupie, that fan type shit.
bullshit because they're used to getting what they want, right? Not recognizing that the quality man or woman of you chose them, right? You know what I'm saying? They don't look at shit like that. Or a long distance relationship. Hi, Char, 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 I'm just, I'm just channeling you today. You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That you're a good person and they never really got to that point. So they can just say F you, right? You expected more. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling the same thing he's feeling. Let's see. Why do they say F you? <clears throat> We can get done at this is 30. We can kick it. We might get do a tarathon. I want to do some more drawing challenges. I'm not no artist, but I do it because it relaxes my mind, right? Seven of Wands, they could have put you in competition. They could have put you in competition. They feel like you're a challenge. It's, they feel like you're a challenge in regards to love. My wife is burning, but they also feel like you're very challenging. Like you make this woman or man step up. Um, they could have had outside influences. They could have cared what people say. He got that bone. They could have a bone to pick with you. Um, yeah, why am I drawn to the five of wands? Have y'all been quarreling, anger, bitter, to strife? To go competition right there. I'm so drawn to that. I feel like you and this man or woman really, really got into it. Woman, woman, man, man, alien, alien, cyclops, cyclops, heterosexual. I don't care. Everybody's welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person says F you. Um, they could make you want to, them to compete, compete, or they could be listening to people from the outside. People go, oh, F her, F him, right? Yeah, but this this is a zombie. So I feel like this man or woman is not really into their head the way they're supposed to be. Um, and so this person got a lot to say. I think this person is still angry. Yeah, I do. I feel a lot of angry energy. I have so many topics and that was one this one i shared one this man or woman is still angry and they wanted to say something maybe i could get to that today but um yeah this person is still angry and this person it feels like that you have a lot of competition for for them i mean, maybe you feel like you're not competent or they could feel like you as men it could be both though it could be a gumbo to both they could feel like they there you have to compete for them and y'all F that. Or they might feel like you have a lot of suitors or people like you or you're still with your husband, wife, with some girlfriend, partner, whatever the situation is, right? And they have to compete with you, right? And they feel like it's very, very hard. Because I don't feel like this man or woman, my right foot, my toes is burning. Um, itchy. Um, they feel like um, they, they can't compete because they're not who you think that they are. You expected more from this man or woman and they're not. So you know how you'd be like, look at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like they have to stay on their ground. Maybe they feel like you, when they say something to you, you trigger them or they trigger you. So it's like it's too much work. They feel like it's too challenging. It's too much work. It's too many challenges, ups and downs and struggles. I'm sorry. That's how they feel. I, I, you know, I got to be fair. Two came out. Why do they say F you? Because... Don't y'all get mad. Some of them already got a family. Some of them are already in commitment. Some already got a girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, side pieces. Um, and they feel like it's established. Um, you know, and they feel very content. So they can say F you, you know what I mean? I got somebody. And I know y'all hate to hear that, but that's how it is. That's how it is with them, right? Now, um, and then they, whatever difficulties and ups and downs they're going to, through, they feel like it's manageable. It ain't no big thing, you know, it, compared to you, it's like this light work, this lightweight, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like with you, you know, it's like F you, you like F you too. Like, I feel like you don't take this woman's shit, you don't take this man's shit, and maybe they don't take your shit, right? I'm sorry, y'all, this is how I do my readings, this is what I'm hearing. So they feel like they already have a family already established, whether it's family, friends, you know, Malua people, they cohort, they cohort, or they're the, the people that they work with, they or you know, they cats, they dogs, you know, they animals or whatever, they go home and they already feel like they have some kind of contentment, so they don't feel like my right foot is burning, they don't have to really invest in you, right? Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, you see these zombies, right? So it's a it's a pretense, it's a facade, but hey, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people in relationships globally, excuse me, y'all the sizes. There's a lot of people in relationships globally. They stay in relationships that um that no longer serve them, so they just doing what no other people do a ritual, <laughs> the same monotony. Or if there's if there are players of men and women, the same lifestyle, and it worked for them, and it's been working this long. And maybe you put a dent in their life, and they, maybe they really care about you and love you, but um but if they're doing the pros and cons and maybe they feel like it's more easier for me to continue this lifestyle and ignore my heart because remember my my king of cups on this side was drowning and so the baby sheer he was like i don't really care about that you know my life is, is this way and it's that way you know what i mean and so i can it's manageable this is another marriage card but it's a beneficial card legacy they could be working on their wealth creating wealth i've already 
created wealth. My right foot is burning. Um, do for self. Yeah, I feel like they are doing for self. Like, you know, and, I, and, it's, and it's admirable because y'all both saying F you, so they worrying about they self. They're doing for self, right? You know what I mean? Some of them might not even be in a family. They can be just very ambitious men and women. They don't even have to be players, you know what I mean? And they haven't met you yet or they have met you and this is a little challenging. It's a little difficult. So they like F you. I have other things to do, right? No, y'all don't want to hear that, but I, you know, I'm a conduit. I'm a voice, right? And so that's what I'm hearing them say, right? Youth high. Some of them got children, youthful. Some of them going through midlife crisis. Some of them feeling really, really good and energized. Need for the hand, the bite the hands, the feet shape. <laughs> um, can't be confined. Gets what you want. Yeah, they just feel like, you know what I'm saying? They're still in that mentality. I said a lot of immature, you know what I mean? I'm going to do what I want. Don't nobody tell me shit. Like, if you even said to this man or woman, you know, you hurt me, you wronged me, you know, feel what I feel or something like that, they could be very, very... um critical, analytical, they could be very self-absorbed, self-centered, selfish, and F you. You get what I'm saying? F you. I've already established. I've already got men and women with, they already established that, right, from the seven of choice. I got choices. I got decisions. You know what I mean? That immature level where they don't care, where they F, F, they, I mean, to the full extent of F you, I don't care. <laughs> I can hear the sign. F you too. <laughs> And they're in that energy. They is strongly in that energy. And it's kind of very childlike um, in a way. You know what I mean? Because they are beating up, um, biting off the hands that feed you. Um, I was channeling these messages. And it, meaning, even though we know what it means, but for this, it means like if they love you and they could have some kind of relationship or establish a relationship or want to hear your side, they'd rather be in that childish energy where you ain't giving me a cookie. I mean, they just pouting, right? They just pouting. I just see grown men and women pouting. I'm going to do what I want. You know what I mean? I say what I want. I didn't, he or she read it wrong. Or or I wasn't as invested as them. Or this is not going to work anyway. Or I'm going to do... You get what I'm saying? So they're kind of childish in that way. Anything else? Why do I see a... Somebody, okay. They told me, pay attention to your car. Somebody has to feed this baby, right? Because the baby can't feed themselves. So that tells me this men and women get a lot of their ego strokes. People pamper them. People, um, you know, maybe look up to them. People believe everything they tell them. Um, you know, people feed their ego. They could be clout chasers. They could chase a lot of different things, right? And Or people bring stuff to them. Or people give them stuff. So when you're in that type of position, see this baby, but then there's a foot. <laughs> That's a grown foot. <laughs> So this baby, you know, I'm going to get everything I want, this man or woman you're asking about, but I'm going to eat you up. They're going to use them and eat them up. <laughs> they broke his, he broke their foot. The baby is eating the, the person, man or woman's foot, but the people don't know that. And as long as they can continue to keep that, um, uh, that momentum with different people coming in, in and out their life or going back to side pieces and, you know, friends of benefits situation, they can keep eating them up and, eat, and, and people keep doing, allowing them to do it. Well, I feel like you didn't, you like F them. I've never seen that foot under there. I've seen it and pay attention to it. Somebody could live by themselves too. Yeah, somebody's very, very clean and immaculate. And so that tells me that this man or woman could cook or they could clean, they could sew. You ever hear men go, <laughs> oh, my husband, I can cook, clean, sew, thank you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I feel like they're very, very independent. That's what I'm getting, right? So it kind of makes it hard. Sorry, this is hard because y'all going back and forth with F you. Why do you say um, F you to this person? Okay, come on, Terry, you ain't trying to. Come on, Geechee, you ain't trying to be here all day. Why do you say F you to this person? Sorry, y'all. Why do you say F you to this person? Whew. My eyelashes is gone, honey. Whew. My nose is ringing. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Why you say collective F you to this person? And I could be wrong. Why you say F you to this person? F you. Why? Because you feel like this man or woman needs to get learn a spiritual lesson. They need to. You need to go out there and bump your head. You, you need to go out there and meet different men and women or stay where you at because you ain't going to never meet nobody like me. You need to let somebody talk about you or gossip about you or use you or mistreat you or so call you psychological, emotional, physical um, bullying. You need to deal with your dysfunction, with your attitude, with your bullying, with your pretentious behavior, your uppity, um, bourgeoisie, or you know, or you still think that you're um, still living in the hood and the ghetto mentality. Stereotypes. The stereotypes of all that because good people come out the ghetto good people live in the and in, and in, in, um you know in prominent um affluent relate um um um, um neighborhoods and cobra sack streets that's what i'm gonna say i'm talking about stereotypes but at the end of the day um this is what you want you want this person stay with them karmic stay with her stay with him do what you need to do because this is what you said f you i want you to learn the spiritual
spiritual lesson. I want you to have major regrets so you can deal with that abandonment issues. So you can um, break those ancestral um, generational curses of behaviors and um, and stuff that no longer serve you. Stay in that mirror. No, honey. Stay with them friends and benefit. Oh, what? She buying and supporting your um thing or he buying and supporting your thing? Oh, good. Let them do it because when I leave and my energy um, is gone, you're going to miss my life. Like, this is the pile. Oh, I'm giving you money. I'm taking you on shopping sprees. I'm paying your rent. I'm paying your bills. You get to ride in my car. I'm putting gas in your car. I'm getting a taxi ride. I'm helping you with your children. You know, your college fund. I'm, I'm going with you to the recitals, the kids, and uh, or the football games, sporting events, trying to cover something. You know what I mean? Are we going on dates where I'm doing this or I'm doing that? Or I'm just none of that. I'm talking to you in the DM, long distance. I'm giving you encouragement, support, and I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you when you write this stuff to me or when we talking on the phone. But you need to learn a spiritual lesson. So F you. Let them do it. <laughs> F you. Why do you say um, F you to this man or woman? Because you want them to learn a spiritual lesson. And they need to learn a spiritual lesson. Why do you say F you to this man or woman? God, go. Because this person feel like they got a lot of options and decisions and you want them to enjoy the fest festivities. <laughs> enjoy every option and decision. <clears throat> Be cool. Unwanted pre pre pregnancies, STDs, attachments that cross the line, crazy stuff toxic men and women or they got attachments or you know you're going to get something that you can't get rid of or they're going to give it back to you the way you gave it to other people or you gave it to me like you want them to you want them you want them to deal with all those options and make all them decisions bad decisions good decisions because this is this is a power on this side you want this man or woman to go through the spiritual lesson because maybe you try to help them you try to talk to them you try to you know be there and encourage them and they and they didn't and they keep throwing up in your face that they have a lot of options and you said good good Good, good. Because every man or woman you meet, you got to deal with their energy, their attachments, and they put on that representative, and then you got to get to know the real person, right? And I feel like you try to be there for this person. Family, yeah. Maybe men or women left you for another family. There's a lot of men and women who have families, and they treat other families better than they have a family, right? Go on over there and be with her. <laughs> That's isolated, yeah. And I feel like you, you try to make this man or woman, some of these men and women left you when you were pregnant or something like that or got you pregnant. Or wanted to have a family with you and now they have families with someone else. And I, you just want them to learn a spiritual lesson. I want to see what you're waiting for. You're probably waiting for them <clears throat> to say, I told you so. Probably. But why do you say F, uh, or are you waiting to see the outcome <clears throat> of the spiritual lessons? Because at the end of the day, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. There's books are written by man. So man has told you these stories time and time and time again with the Quran. Still was written by a man, even though it was, you know, spiritually, I guess, just like the Bible um, revealed to people, right? And that's cool. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of books and fairy tale books and fiction and all fiction. And you want this man or woman to learn some lessons. There's nothing new under the sun, <clears throat> right? That's why you said, F you, go on out there and do what you got to do. It's like a, 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 a parent. Um, and their child is on drugs um, or they got a hard, a hard head. You know how to say a hard head, make a soft ass. Oh, old saying, I don't even know who originated that. And you want this man or woman going out there, right? F you, do what you want to do. I'm doing my own thing, right? Because this person is sneaky. This person is sneaky, deceptive, right? Cunning, sly, slick, and they think they're getting away with something. But what's in the dark will come in light. And that's why you're like, F you. I knew this person was sneaky. I felt the energy at the beginning. I knew, I was wondering when this car, and this person tells lies. Big lies, exaggerated lies, right? Yeah. And this person lives in a lot of fantasy and the seduction type um, type men and women, right? So go on out there. Do your thing, bruh. Do your thing. And you want them to get every fantasy and every seduction fulfilled, right? Yeah. You could. This person could be committed. And you want this person, won't you, won't you go on and be with your wife or your husband? Won't you do the right thing? Because you know that you've got to say they're not really happy. You know what I'm saying? And they pretend that they're going through this committed. Because see, she looking, she's not even happy. So you're going to go ahead and play house. Do your thing. Do your thing, mama. Do your thing, daddy. Even if they were boyfriend or girlfriend, anything else. And you know this person has a message for you. And they can't, they can't, they can't get in contact with you. Right? Because they got this ego. They got to stay save face. Anything else? Yeah. Because why you say F them? Because you know at the end of the day, it's going to be some change. This person going to change. This person going to change. This person is going to change. And that's why you said F you. So this is the side where you understand. I'm not going to say karma, but you understand the spiritual lessons of life. So if there's really nothing you can do for this man or woman but to say F you and keep it moving. <laughs> and you go ahead and learn your lessons because I'm going to do me. My right foot is burnt. Let's see why they say F you. And then we're going to hit my pair. Why they say F you back? 
Well, this person is fake. <laughs> For this person, they, when they say an F you back and everything that he or she is big and bad enough to do, they know deep down inside that they have unconditional love for you. And they know that they want romance and affection, right? I don't care what position this person plays. I don't care if you uh, met this person, right? Online, in a DM, crush, work, gym, something like that. But this person knows that this is a game to this person. They're just trying to hurt you. They're just trying to get your gold. They know that you're sensitive. They know that they, they fucked up. Um, but at the end of the day, they don't really want to say F you, right? Remember, a reading could be, you know, it could, might not be the way you think it's going to be. So, no, they have a lot of unconditional love for you. And don't get mad collective. They feel like you love them the same way, right? They would much rather make love than war, right? Some of y'all never even uh, met the person they want to meet. Some of y'all haven't even dated the person they want to date. Some of y'all not talking to uns and no contact. They're trying to figure it out. They're praying that uh, or hoping or manifesting that the unconditional love, some of y'all can look like that um, or, or look like that. They're hoping that the unconditional love that y'all have for each other will bring y'all back together. Why do they say F you? They don't, they don't mean it. They don't mean it. Y'all could be on a break for this person. I said that. No contact. They could be avoiding you because they know that they were wrong. And they're hurting. They are hurting so bad. They're still very, very much attracted to you. They're in the shadows. Some of you, they're in the shadows, um, in the shadows, um, spying on you. Some of y'all, they made y'all friends with benefits. They know that was wrong because they started catching feelings too. This person could be a runner. Somebody could look like them. That means he or she is getting centered. They're starting to learn about themselves. They, maybe they're going through some kind of pilgrimage, some kind of awakening. They're planning and they're waiting too. They want a family with you. They pride. They pride. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they could have been very cold. They know they're learning spiritual lessons. And they they, they want to have a sincere apology with you. But a lot of them pretending to be cold, right? There we go. But I want you. So they're pretending. They're going through this act that, you know, I don't really want you. But they want to be organic. You know, start over. Let's build. I'm sorry. I got a sincere apology. They want intimacy because they feel like you're very, very high vibration. But right now, and high vibration is like a twin flame with soulmate card. They feel like they're very, very connected. But y'all in conflict. But they're trusting that you're gonna come back and they can build a relationship with you, and they're keeping themselves distracted. Yeah, this is this is I, I get it. So this person really really cares about you and loves you, but at the end of the day, they fucked up. And so when you fuck up, you have to wear this mask and you have to pretend that you don't care and I'm not upset and I'm gonna give you the same energy you give me. But they're lying. They're she and he is hurting on the inside because they know that y'all have this deep connection and bond that nobody can break. Rather you've been with this person. Or never met this person. The heart knows what the heart wants. The soul wants. And, and this is what this person wants. And plus they have to save face because they could have talked about you to other people and they don't want anybody to know. You know what I'm saying? Or they could have made something like you're chasing them or, you know, or the relationship wasn't like that. And it was. It was. It was just like you, you thought. It was unconditional love. You love this man. You love this woman. Woman, woman, man, man. Alien, alien. I don't care. Heterosexual. And then they try to um, um, downplay it and they feel really, really bad. And they're trying to avoid it and they're hurting. Now, let's see why you say F you to them and they say F you to you. I was, I was supposed to start the gym back. Uh, I got to get back to this gym. Whew. I don't know why I said it's like I'm dreading. That's some draw. Um, why? Um, that's how I um, drawing and fishing and walking in nature. I'm a tourist work for me. Um, you know, and travel and shit like that. I, it makes me, you know, because I, I got to transmute this energy that I picked up, get back centered and balanced. Why do you say F you? And you could be the same way. That's why you say F you. And then really, maybe you just want to do you as a man right now. You want to do you as a woman. <clears throat> it could be just like that, right? Why do you say F you to this man with my cards or this woman? Page of cut. Page of cups. Page of cups is normally flagging and say this is what they offer. I feel like this man or woman kept selling you a lot of bill of goods, a lot of fantasy. Um, it, they, my right foot is burning and it just wasn't real, wasn't connected. It was flip flopping. You got tired and you started unveiling that shit. You started seeing a clear view and you're like, I'm not trying to deal with none of this. I'm not trying to deal with none of this. I, I don't even know what this is upside down. I'm a intuitive reader. I like to learn them um, upside down as I as I go. For anybody new, I learned tarot cards in, in three weeks. I put on my index cards and so as I learn them. But this it talks about somebody being flighty, but they want to offer you something what they have. Immature, not a king, king or a queen or an emperor, or anything like that. But it came upside down. So I just feel like you're tired of that flip floppy energy, indecisive. They don't know what they want to do. Um, very, very immature. I feel a lot of immature immaturity on this side, right? Because I feel like they 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 the ones who fucked up and that's why you said up you you had to actually you didn't really have no choice because this man or woman was selling you a bill of goods and it wasn't consistent it wasn't considerate the communication was lacking you know what i'm saying maybe the compassion maybe the empathy right you know you weren't seeing the same thing um why do you say f you to this man or woman 
Yeah, because they could be judging you very, very harshly and unfairly. I, I feel you. You know what I mean? They could be still living in the past. They don't know how to let go. They don't know how to fight fair. Um, maybe they don't know how to communicate. They could still be messing with side pieces or, you know what I mean? Or you could be a side piece. They could still with, be with their husband and wife. It's like a lot of game playing and, and cycles that you want to close. You know what I mean? Like they don't hear the horn. The horn is blowing and it's loud. You know what I mean? Because they're not looking at the horn. They like when people worship them and you know what I'm saying? And so they don't feel like they have to change. And I feel like you said f this right yeah i do feel like this person judged you unfair fairly and i think if anybody got a wake-up call it was your side you got you they was supposed to be the one woken up maybe it's all well i'm already in a progression of healing and i've done so much work as men and women but i feel like just being attracted to this person or be, being there for this person or loving or liking this person or still staying this person is keeping you stuck in the past and you want to move forward so he's like f you i don't need this shit in my life anything else why do you say F you to this um, person? Yeah, I said it. That's that um, contemplating. This is this um, indecisive, flip floppy. I don't know what I want to do. Very fearful, optimistic, not optimistic. I don't know which way to go. Oh, I'm feeling like this man or woman feels so confident or you feel so confident sometimes with this man or woman and sometimes they give you doubt and fear. You don't know what direction you go. And nobody want to be in this. And this person keeps testing you and testing your love and, you know, testing your commitment or your encouragement or your support or, you know, it's like, oh my God, like, can we just establish a foundation? This is definitely faulty, a faulty foundation that anybody can pull the rug and it's going to fall, right? And this person is blinded. Maybe they're blinded and they can't decide on what to do do and it's complicated and you don't want that you want some peace and get your last card so you like f this shit and f you i don't need it i need consistency why do you say f you to this man or woman there you go because you want contentment this person was your wish fulfillment but they're not acting like it they're not their action is not aligning with what you want and you want to be content in your life as men and women you don't want the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows and the mazes and climbing up the mountain and to uncharted rod or in the terror territory and stuff like that. You don't want that. You want it to flow. You thought this person, but this person comes with a lot of bullshit. You're like, F that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll give you one more. I don't need that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was very content before I met you. I'll be content after. Or maybe you wasn't and this person brought you a lot of contentment or whatever the situation is. But this person is not living up to that nine of chalice, that wish fulfillment. They started to become a burden. They, they, they're supposed to be a blessing. They're starting to become a, a, a curse. They're supposed to be comforting. They're supposed to starting to be a thorn in your side, right? You thinking you talking nice about them and they slandering your name and talking behind your back. You loving you, loving them and they just giving you evil for good. Like, it's like that. It's this car, like back and forth. Like, I can't even trust what you say, what you do, you know, or how you make me feel because I was feeling good. We was making love. I was feeling good. Next thing you know, you still messing with other side pieces. Or we had this great conversation in the middle of the night in the DM or on the phone or in a text or something like that. Or when we met for coffee or drinks like that. Next thing you know, you... F you not, you're doing something else, so F you. I don't, I don't need it, you know what I mean? Your last card. Told you. Competition, the fights, the confusion, they figuring out how to fight. They don't want to fight fair, the challenges. This is this is conflict. You don't want the conflict, you want peace. You don't want the conflict, you want peace. If this person won't give you a commitment, you want them to understand what the reality is, what the word means, commitment. Be be the commitment. Whether, whether you're, you're a crush, you want to take it to another level online, you want to meet them, whether it's your husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend, you want this person to be who they say they're going to be. But all you're getting is a lot of confusion and conflict and ups and downs and challenges. And then you got to figure out how to play him or her. They got to figure out how to play you or you got to figure out how to hit back, tick for tack, power struggles. Or maybe you don't even want to play the game at all and they're cold and they're being mean, they're being deceptive. You know what I mean? Or maybe it's taking you out your element. So you just said. F you, I don't, I don't need this shit in my life. It's to my right for the burn. It's too many ebbs and flows and ups and downs. I don't need it. And then they have outside influences and shit. You don't need it. So you, you took your energy back. Let me see why they say F you. Well, they just talking. We're going to see if that lines up with that. Let's see if I read that right. Why do they say F you? Because I feel like this person really loves you. I feel like they put on um fronts. Why do they say F you? Whew. They said F you because you unveiled their trickery, their deception, their lies, their sneakiness, their cunning. This is a, not a good card, right? You know, they try, they're they brilliant strategists. They're very methodical. They play a lot of games, very deceptive, a lot of illusions and shit. 
Um, you know what I mean? They don't want you to get real close because you busted them out, basically. You unveiled that shit, right? So they said F you. It's easier to, to say F you than to go through the motions and to deal with the, the, um, the betrayal or the deceit or the lies or the flip-floppy energy or the manipulation or the gaslighting, gaslight, or maybe they have narcissistic tendencies, you know what I'm saying? Or borderline behavior, ups and downs, ebbs and flow. It's easier to say F you, right, than to, to, than to own it. And, and then they have major regrets and they don't want to deal with that, right? And then they have a lot of secrets that you busted them out on, right? Yeah, and um, they do have a lot of major regrets. They can have abandonment issues. They can have generational patterns and behaviors and curses that they haven't broken. I said that, and you make them face it. They don't want to face that hurt and that dysfunction, you know? They want to keep per per perpetuating, um, you know, things that um, that make them feel good or, how, or that's how we do it or that's how it was done. Instead of facing it, this needs to be broken. This needs to be changed. I'll, I'll be here all day. Just think about dysfunction and families that we repeat, um, you know, psychological, emotional, physical, um, verbal, sexual, um, or bullying, um, trauma, abuse, uh, you know, daddy was at home, mommy was at home, mommy was in the street, mommy was overbearing, daddy was overbearing, daddy wasn't there, military, authoritarian, um, PTSD, didn't go get no help, no therapy, um, sibling rivalry, jealousy, overachievers, um, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, arrogant, conceited, to the point of, you get what I'm saying, nobody can't stand them, you know, I need my ego massage, reject, um, didn't nobody look at me or make me feel good. I was a late bloomer. Or I was always the um, the golden child. So I have to live up to that. We could be here all day. And so they didn't. They projected a lot on you. They did. I don't want to deal with my own issues. I've always done it this way. I'm going to continue to do it this way. I sneak, lie, be deceptive, and it works for me, right? And it's the moon, right? They got trauma that they haven't dealt with. They don't want to deal with it. It's land dormant. And when they talk to you or meet you or be in their, your energy, your aura as men and women, you remind them of what the healing that they haven't done. And so they go F you. So it's easier to say F you where other people medicate them or they have some addictions or they need their ego massage. You get what I'm saying? Or or they sex them a certain way or, or you know what I mean? Or they allow them to keep continuing that, right? You know, because I'm saying to um, somebody, if somebody say something about me, you know what I'm saying? Why would you allow a grown man to even say that? You know what I'm saying? That's You know, if, let me tell you, when you slander somebody's name, we're going to use pet pedo. When you slander somebody's name, somebody says that he or she is a, a pedophile. People can't unsee that. Y'all get it? Even joking, people can't unsee that. Y'all get y'all get what I'm saying, right? So we use that for example. I don't know why that dropped on my spirit. You have to be careful what you say because you can slander somebody's name, right? And people can't unsee that. And this is how this person is. Deep down inside, they might love you, care about you, or whatever, but they put on facades, right? And they say shit that they shouldn't say, and they do shit that they shouldn't do, right? And you call them out on them, and so it's easier for them to say f you and justify the. The negative behavior, destructive behaviors, you know what I'm saying? So this is why. This is why you got all these type of cards here, right? Anything else? And they could be chasing money and people look up to them and they could be a very good catch as men and women. Let me give them their last card. Why do they say F you? Because they don't want to do their healing. They don't want to look at themselves in the mirror. And because they have a lot of hurt and pain. And they know that they've been shady, shysty, grimy, and then people have been shady and shysty to them. And they're meeting a lot of tower moms. They don't want you to know. Tower moments is a, a quick impact. Boom. Somebody betrayed, lied, cheated, hurt, the house burnt down. Somebody passed away. Something that's going to shook you where it, it changes your environment. It changes, it triggers you. It makes you want to change. It's a transformation card. We could be here all day. Or divorce. Or maybe you took your energy back and they say, don't talk to me. You go, don't talk to me. Or you just stop talking to them and DM or whatever. Something happened to this woman, woman or man that put them in a transformation. Or they're going through stuff. Financial struggles, bad investments, contracts they can't get out. Um, don't got the money for school. Um, you know, their job is something. The kids is acting up. The car is breaking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or they in relationships that they stay with and they picked over you. The shit ain't really working. Or the facade they put on. People on building the shit, pulling the onion back. Something is going on. You see all these bad cars? Something is going on with this man or woman. And so they rather project and say F you because they can't face who they are and face the, their reality. They like a distorted reality. They like being in a suspended reality, right? A fantasy. It's like watching TV. You watching TV, you think you're a superhero when you watch TV or I'm watching the child and pimple. Ooh, man. <laughs> Drunken monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Suspended 
in reality, right? My fat ass be sitting right there on the couch, ain't moved. Well, this is what this man and woman do. They like to stay in that suspended reality. They don't, they don't want until they get tower moments. And if they're needing tower moments, they don't want you to know. And the tower moments hurt. It ain't like the devil energy now. When the devil energy comes, it's a long, it's for a lifetime. That's an impact. That's a lifetime. So like I was incarcerated and I did 20 years and I could never get that back with my kids. So it's going to always bother me that I wasn't there for my kids. That's that long, you know, that long energy punishment or whatever you want to call it. This is just a quick impact. Maybe you took your energy back from them. You know, they didn't, they'll didn't. never get to have a relationship with you or never meet you or we're not going to get back together or you're mad at them or you see them in a different light because that don't mean that you guys aren't going to be back together. I never tell people that. I feel like if a man or woman puts the work in and they do their healing, people deserve a second chance, especially when you do, you start, it's a progression. It's a life progression. You start, they start changing, start being grounded. They start being uplifting. They start being nice, kind. They start feeling. They start getting into that, um, that, that feminine energy, you know, the caring, the loving, the compassion, the forgiving, forgiving their self, first of all, forgiving others. And they get in that masculine energy and then it's very well balanced. But if they want to be a di dictator or, a, or, or they, uh, you know, emotional bullying and manipulating, that's that feminine energy that's, that's imbalanced or that masculine energy of dictator. I don't need him. I don't need her. I do what I want. People worship me, men and women. Then they're going to keep needing tower moments, right? Let me get your last card, their last card. So that's why it's easier to run, right? It's easier to run. And there was a runner card and I didn't deal with the runner card. So it's easier for them to run and say, F you, bye, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. I ain't got to, I can block him. I can block her. I ain't got to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? You ever send somebody something and you want to talk to them? You know, as a grown person, because you looked at this man or woman as, I thought when I met somebody, I was like, this person is the, the mind. And you send them something and they delete it. You go, are you in high school? What the fuck are you running from? The truth? You get what I'm saying? Use an example. There ain't nobody to read to it. But just giving you an example. Or you see them out for coffee and they can't sit. They can't hold a conversation. They can't look at you, you see, you know, because they, they can't they can't deal with themselves, right? And that's why it's easier to say F you. You y'all know this. It's a textbook, right? It's a textbook. Why does this person say F you? Give me the, the last card. Yes. There we go. Because it's much easier. It's much easier to deal. This is the remember I told you this was a y'all twin flames and lovers, and this is why I felt like this is the lovers um reading. Well, this is a deep, the deepest connection you can get. You know how they say it verbally, the vernacular language is the deepest connection you can get. A thousand years from now, they ain't even gonna know what the word twin flame soulmate is. So we just say this, you know, the spark twin flame soulmate. They know. They know that they have to choose high vibrational. This is what the card talks about, because they have a divine purpose in life when y'all two get together or be together or work it out. Some of y'all is no contact. Some of y'all never met, and some of y'all still with them, right? Or off and on, whatever. I try to cover everybody. But this person, this woman goes, I much rather deal with the low vibration because it's easier, right? I don't have to deal with my imperfections or my um or my destructive behavior or my uh, my detachment disorder, oppositional defiant behavior, being mad and cold, or you know, or greedy, or chasing the pleasures, you know, that, that don't align with me, or admitting that I have some dysfunction, some problems, some issues, um, right? I, I'm imperfect. I'm imperfect, right? Um, you know, but that doesn't mean that I, I have to stay there. I, I mean, I'm always going to be imperfect, but I can still work on it. Like, I can't be going like, my words cut. So that's just how it is. Well, no, you got, it's the way to say things, Terry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You hurt your, your kids' feelings. You could be a bully. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just sharing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You got to work on it. But first of all, you got to be able to look in the mirror. Can you admit that publicly that you got some issues and some problems that you have to work on? Well, no, these people can't. These men and women can't because they want to... Um, perform right and they want to put play like they're perfect so it's easier to say f you right you know what i'm saying i'm the mom i'm the dad you don't tell me what to do well you know mothers and fathers the bible talks about don't provoke your kids they they are they seem to want to miss that too i don't know if this bible something with me you know i used to be a christian for a long time so there's always two sides to the story right we know there's three sides but at the end of the day this man or woman doesn't want to do their work they would rather choose low vibration now they are very this car came up they're very much aware that you are a high vibration type man or woman but right now it's so much easier i feel like they've chosen Chose. They chose to stay with the low vibrational um, people and for new people, just two twins. They look exactly the same. They have the same area of um, um, COVID to X Street. Got the same amount of um, kids, the husband, dog, the lesbian, gay. I, don't, I could care less. Same exact look, so you don't have to think it's uneven. But when they go in one house, one house is high vibration, one house is low vibration. Low vibration is the cycling up and down of life, ups and downs, ebbs and flows, sex is good, maybe it's not, cheating, lying, or we're going to build together, we happy now, six, seven months, ten years from now, cycling up and down. Da -da -da, uh, 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 right? And so it's toxic, right? Mm. Now, the high vibration behind closed doors is conducive to your environment.
environment, right? You know what I mean? You can know how to communicate. It's considerate. It's consistent. Are there um, ups and downs? Yes, it is. But we can sit down and talk about it. You get what I'm saying? Or we can work on it. Or we're old, we're, we're grown enough to go get therapy or get help. You get what I'm saying? Or a higher power. I'm just making it up. That's the difference. But they read, or, or you know, you have some addictions, right? I see you have some addictions, baby, coming in. You know, you need to work on this alcohol, this drug, you know, this, um, this gambling problem, something like that. We could talk about it. We can get you some help, right? Here, might be fussing, cousin, continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't change it. It is what it is. So you, it's, it's a difference, right? And then when you get high vibration, you don't want it anymore. You're centered. You're traveling. Maybe you're going to Costa Rica. They got some shit in Costa Rica that put you in this, this zone. I said, I'm going to go to Costa Rica. I told my daughters, I'm going to do me a tarot card reading to get on that shit. See what I pick up. It's like a mushroom. I haven't tried a mushroom. I got to try it. They, they say it takes you to another um, dimension or whatever. But at the end of the day, 18 plus adult material language, is mushrooms illegal? I don't know. I'm not promoting mushrooms. This is an example. I heard about it, right? <laughs> but yeah, so this is what this person, they rather, um, they know they have a choice and it's easy right now to say F you and keep doing what they're doing. All right, y'all, let me see this last card. Oh, I told you. And if I'm going to pick that up, I would have to put, this is the reconciliation card. Now, a lot of people say this person don't stay long. The, the people that I get and the way I learn and then I get the confirmation this works for me this person gonna come back but now when people say they don't stay on this is what the person is doing now right now they're flip floppy they're in and out but when this person comes back this person man will want to bring you a, 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 a couple of love but right now they're doing everything they're being bad enough to do and it's F you but they will come back so if you was wondering like and no matter how bad it is this man will gonna come back yeah they gonna come back and they want to come back the desire is there now you have a free will you don't even comment I don't want to back she don't want to back okay you got free will Oh, you're fine. I don't have to get your head. <laughs> this is 18 plus adult material. It's just entertainment purposes only. Calm down. But it, I'm just letting you know that this man or woman does want you back. They want to reconcile. But right now, they still got some lights left and some art. And they're in that F you energy. And they do want to come back. Yeah. And they think that you're great. This is a good card. This is the best marriage um, um, woman in the debt of it and the empress. She's very caring. Um, she don't care about the money. She gives good advice. She's very loving. You'll find her in a soup kitchen or walk with somebody across the street. She's that humanitarian, that philandromous, whatever. So, they, so they, they don't see anything wrong with you as men or women. It's just that they was fucked up. Let me see what this is. Yeah. And they do want commitment. Yeah. If you're committed, they want to recommit. If you're not committed, they commit it. But all you need to know is this person is a bunch of bull um, wearing a lot of masks and they do want to um, 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 come back to you and reconcile and they've learned a lot of lessons. But until then, while they're in that energy, it's right now, it's F you. I'm putting off the personas and fronts and they're going to make you feel that way. If you see this person, they might act like F you. But deep down inside in their spirit and their soul from the spiritual world, they do love you and they do want to reconcile. Later.